be starting a new vlog today. I know that I've been on the bandwagon with uh, vlogs, but I did mention that I do like vlogs. So happy Friday or whatever day you're watching me. Uh, we are on our way to church as usual and I will be sharing the word today. So I'm um, excited for that. I don't know if I'll get to record myself giving the word. I think that would be kind of weird, but um, we will be um, having service today and then from after that we'll go out for dinner and uh, I'll continue vlogging during the week the weekend uh, but thank you so much for joining me today We're here at church and we're the only ones here so far. We're always a small group on Fridays. It's already 7.14 and we're supposed to start at 7.15. <laughs> okay. We're always a small group, like I said. Usually my sister, um, my other sister, and my other sister. And that's basically it. Hunter and Diego should be getting here too. They come in their own car. And um, so we'll see. I brought a cake that I made yesterday that I wanted to share with everybody. So uh, hopefully everybody gets here soon so we can get started. By the way, if you're new, I play the drums and I don't play them professionally. I just know how to keep a beat. I don't play anything fancy. I just stick to the beat because along with playing, I also uh, sing. And so I can't be doing both. Like my mind doesn't, is not able to do so. Basically, I'll just keep a beat. Well, I can't do it right now, but, but you can get the point. I keep a beat, and my goal is, not goal, my hope is, my hope is that one day somebody who plays them really nicely will come and take over. I'll miss it, but I'd rather have somebody who knows how to play them really well to, to take over. And also, you know, more voices. We need more voices. We're so small that right now um, we we all have more than one role in the church. I help teach Sunday school, Jonas plays, but he also teaches the youth, and we all play different roles here. But uh, I think that's what um, keeps us going because you know we're working and we're we're serving in that way, and so it's a blessing hey guys, to be able to do it. We got. More people here, yay. <laughs> 15, we're gonna read only from there, 615. And it says, when the servant of the man of God got up and went out early the next morning, an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh no, my Lord, what shall we do? The servant asked, amen. So the servant, so Elijah had a servant that worked for him. And in that morning, he woke up early. He went out, you know, to take his morning walk. And as he was, he stepped out, all of a sudden, he sees that a ram and all his, his army has now surrounded the city of Dothan. Amen. And he reacted like anybody would react. Amen. Imagine having a big army surrounding you. And you know that they're there to, to, to come and to probably kill you or, or take you as, as, uh, as a prisoner. And so any person would fear, just like this person, this servant here of Elijah, he felt that fear. And I know we've been, I've been in situations where when I start to see the situation and I start to see the problem and I start to see uh, what if this happens, and it feels like the enemy is right up in our face. Some of you guys know that song from uh, from Unspoken. Keep fighting the good fight. Mm -hmm. And that line that says, when the enemy is right up in our face. Sometimes we go through things in life where we feel like the enemy is right up in our face. We feel like we're, we're cornered in the corner and the enemy has us trapped. And sometimes these situations look like that. Like the servant of God who was about looking at a multitude and an army and he felt like he was trapped. He felt at that moment like there was no hope. He felt like, oh no, this is it. Me and Elijah and everybody, everybody here are gone. This is it. 
because he had every reason to think that of. I mean, logically, they were surrounded. They were surrounded by the, the army of Aram. And I bet you in that moment, Aram thought, said, we got them. We have them. They're surrounded. We, we are going to take them. And he's not going to be able to tell Israel any more of, what, uh, of any of my, of my uh, battle strategies, right? Have you ever been there? Have you ever felt that way? And back in the Old Testament, not everybody had access to the Holy Spirit. That's why they needed prophets. That's why they needed prophets, right? The prophet was, that's why the prophet was filled with the Spirit because they became the voice. But the Bible shows us that when we come to know Jesus, now anybody has access to the Holy Spirit. Anybody has access to the Holy Spirit. The veil was torn. What is, and what does that mean for us? as Christians, as believers, that we have the same spirit that was in Elijah and Elisha. Is that same spirit is living within us. Yay, we just had some this cake. Let me show you. I made this cake yesterday and I brought it to share. It's a banana uh, cream pot or cream cake. Not pot. But it was really good. And I'm gonna give the rest to my Well, we haven't done the tacos yet, but... Okay, hey, you know. I just already got a taco. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Um, zoomed out. We are... We just had breakfast, and uh, I didn't really get to vlog that, but we had pancakes. And then Maddie has... Her recital practice, her recital is about two weeks away, and so now they're starting to add practices in the on Saturdays. And uh, so it's, get, it's gonna get really busy in the next few weeks. We have Hunter and Dale graduating, um, and there's a lot of events that come with that. So, yeah. But I'm excited for this end of the school season, and um, I'm ready for summer. We just left Walmart, and I bought myself some new shoes. I don't think you can see them, but they're like this. Remind me so much of early 2000s because I had a pair similar to this. And the brand, I think it's Sam and Libby, had some of these at Walmart. And I'm like, I oh, need to get these. They're really comfortable, and they does have a high platform. But I think they're cute. And now we're off to pick up Maddie. We had, just, we had just dropped her off about two hours, and it went by really fast. I thought. We're gonna go to Walmart, we're gonna get to go to Lowe's, and then we're gonna get to go pick up some uh, brisket barbecue plates that we bought for our uh, church that's having a fundraiser. And uh, we just went to Walmart. We didn't even get to go to Lowe's. We just picked her up and we got her some McDonald's for lunch. What? But you two purchase. So has anybody ever had a snow cone with pickles and Kool-Aid powder with mixed with salt? Anybody? That's how we eat our, our snow cones or rasta here in the area that I am. Well I do. Get a regular flavor. Jonas has the flavor liquor. He doesn't like this stuff, but I grew up eating this stuff and Maddie says it's disgusting but we love it and a lot of people down here love it. We? I don't. We don't well you, you're an exception. I'm the only one who loves it in this family. In the family, yes. I'm the only one that likes it. We just got here to draw. Actually I already ate so. But what we're having for as a fundraiser is brisket sandwiches which is basically chopped brisket. Let me show you. Chopped brisket in barbecue sauce which it was really good and then we're serving it kind of like in a lunch in a little brown bag where it has chips and it comes with 
pickles and onions, which is traditional for the brisket sandwich, and a cup of fruit salad. Um, but it's really good. So we are here at Adonis' um, father or parents' house, and Maddie went shopping. Jonas' sister, she has like a little uh, toy store. She col uh, not collect. She collects some, but then she sells toys that she uh, finds. And Maddie came shopping, and we ended up getting this. Now, I don't know if I mentioned before. This is I don't know if you can see it. It's the Pink Panther, but. Jonas, uh, he's tall and thin. He has thin legs and arms. And so his dad one time referred to him as a Pantera Rosa, which means the Pink Panther. And from that there on, I started calling Jonas the Pink el Pantera Rosa. And uh, so every time that we see like a Pink Panther or he actually took a picture in San Antonio with the Pink Panther. And so, um, yeah, so we found we saw that toy and we got it because we thought that'd be funny because he is a Pantera Rosa. And Maddie, what did you end up getting? Show everybody what you got. She got a Barney. She got a Bobby and a bunch of little turtles and and Sesame Street characters. Wow, it's bright, so bright. Yeah, it was. It's really hot outside in Texas right now. It's 97 degree weather and uh, that's kind of telling us that summer is coming and it's gonna get even hotter. Okay, I just said that it was 97 degree. It's not 97 degree weather. It's 92 degree weather according to my car, but it looked like a seven from far away. I'm like, it's not that hot yet, but it feels really hot. Um, we're down, all the way down in Texas where the, the uh, south, southernest part of Texas as south as you can go, right by the border of uh, Mexico. So it gets really hot and it gets really humid. What did you get, Maddie? Come on. I think I got nothing. You showed us a Ninja Turtle. Because that's okay. Right now, Jonas is, um, we're in the car because he went, he found his dad because he couldn't find his dad. And because uh, they do have a few acres of land. So he his dad was <laughs> like, working on let me show you oh man it's super bright there we go uh, there he goes his dad was all the way down that way uh, he's working on something and Jonas uh, went to go talk to him really quickly As I was saying, we uh, went to the same school, graduated the same year, we just never had any classes together and we never had any mutual friends. So even though I remember him like walking down the halls and he says he remembers me, we would actually didn't meet till years later when my sister put out an ad on Craigslist looking for musicians for our church because we were a small church. And I had told my sister, you're never going to find anybody, like I just thought that that was a little bit silly but I thought you know it doesn't hurt to try and so he replied and he came I was there when he came to the churches to come and visit with um, my sister and I and he uh, it was just kind of a little bit awkward and a couple months a few months later we were married that's how fast they got married. we're back home and now we're gonna rest because tonight we're heading to the lobster Red Lobster. We made plans with my sister and her husband. So, we're going to have that. But right now, we're just going to rest and just relax. So, we're back home and I was trying to clean this toilet. I was using uh, this new product I found. It's basically bleach in a gel form because there's like some hard. Uh, hard water stains there and you know, I know you can see them really well but anyways 
right there. They're like, kind of like in a gray looking with streaks, right? And it's and I try to scrub them and it looked like the more I scrub, the darker they were getting. And they would become darker. And then I tried using a SOS a, um, little wool scrub, scrub a spot, not sponge, whatever it is. And it actually made it look dark so the point where I was like, oh no, I ruined the toilet. But as soon as I flushed it, it got better. So then I took out this Bissell steam shot and it apparently stopped working because what happens is it heats up, but when I click this button, it doesn't release any steam anymore. And so the water was still in there. So I unplugged it and as I was trying to take this off, I was releasing it slowly, but the last part of it, I went for it and it's and it splashed hot water on my face. I don't think it burned me yet. Well, I'm not seeing any burn, but it was dangerous. So I guess uh, be very careful with this thing. So I'm just gonna call the 1-800 number in the back and see if they have any kind of warranty on it. If not, I, I've been wanting to get the upgraded version, the green one. So I might just do that. I don't know if this would have worked for the hard water stains. So I was gonna try it, but um, we'll see. Let's go ahead and see if I can uh, maybe get a new one with a warranty. If there's any, we will see. It doesn't hurt to call uh, when they have a number. And I know, um, like for example, Bissell, I can end up calling Bissell. And the lady who helped me said, you know what? Since it's a very inexpensive product, I'm just gonna go ahead and resend you one. And they didn't even have to check my, my receipt or anything. It was over a year, so she did me a favor. So I'm thankful for that. So I'm gonna be getting a new Bissell on because I do love it, so for free. Thank the Lord. Guess yeah. where we came yeah, before like dinner? Like, like at a comic yeah. store because Maddie wanted a Ninja Turtle um, comic book. And so we're here. I think she found a toy she's going to take. Did you find one? I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? We just got here to the restaurant that we're going to go in and try. We're meeting my sister and brother in law. And we're in a nearby town. We can help but down like 15 minutes away. We're all small town here. But it's called Coletti, right? It's an Italian restaurant. This, these two here are unsep inseparable. That's Daddy's girl. Super cute. <laughs> we just got here. We've never been here. Put us in this corner for a reason. <laughs> uh, because uh, everybody else seems to be over there in that area. And uh, they came and put us in this corner. <laughs> so we're like, okay. I mean, it's nice and cozy here, but we're like far away. <laughs> oh, I know. I thought they were going to put us in that nice round table there. That's too close there. <laughs> but I guess we'll take it. We'll take it. I'm gonna have the chicken, creamy chicken alfredo. But I wonder if they can uh, make it into a shrimp alfredo. Really good bread here. <laughs> uh, we already got two low and we want another one already. Met's demonstrating how good it is. <laughs> 
Trying to get that butter. Yeah, it's hard butter. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's butter, I think it's hard butter. That's why they said it. My sister is doing a TikTok. <laughs> They said that lady looks like she has a camera. Let's put her in that corner. Oh, And my sister here is having lasagna. You got you got a lasagna. Yeah, then we got lasagna. Yeah. Yeah. This one has sausage and that one pepperoni. You want pepperoni, man? So it's a really bad angle of me, but we said that she's gonna come out on my vlog right now. Did you like the pizza, Maddie? Maddie, did you like the pizza? It was bad. Oh my goodness, she's exaggerating because I saw her eat like four slices. <laughs> so Jonas has a Jonas and Med have a cheesecake. Um, cheesecake what? What's the word for it? Cheesecake addiction. Hmm? Cheese, cheesecake, um, huh? Addi addi ugh, addiction. Well, they love cheesecake, so they bond through cheesecake. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and find uh, Danny's just to go have cheesecake. And the funny thing is that the restaurant that we were just in did have a cheesecake, but... Um, the cheesecake was actually twelve dollars. So I'm like, I'm not gonna pay twelve dollars for the cheesecake. So we're here at Denny's, and um, we ordered. I ended up getting a milkshake, and Jonah said he wants to come out of my vlog. Let's do a uh, run. <laughs> Why do my eyes look like that? What do your eyes look like? Take out the mask. They're, they're on it weird. They're not looking at it. You're about to have some uh, milkshake though. Look at that milkshake. But look at that cheesecake. Now that <laughs> Yummy. Maddie got an Oreo uh, milkshake. And then he's still waiting on her. But I think she got like a caramel. Let's dig in. <laughs> 